I paid $70 for this five by five unit. You never know what you're going to get in a storage war. But we're going to find out. What did $70 buy me? Let's see. Well, I think it's easy to say that this is the cleanest unit I've ever purchased because there's no garbage bags, hopefully no garbage. Um, it definitely has been rearranged from the original photo though, which is somewhat interesting. Uh, yeah, that's, that's something to kind of consider. I uh, hope there's no Chipotle in there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I believe that these two boxes were actually on top. They weren't on the floor, so I don't know why that was moved. Hmm. Does that mean that this was gone through? Possibly. So yes, it is very strange that the boxes were moved, which makes me believe someone was in here. So who knows, there could have been something amazing in here, but maybe they took it, I don't know. So yes, yeah, $70. Worth that in totes, probably. So let's get to it. Kitch, kitch, kitchen, kitchen. We got a kitchen. Oh boy, I do have a kitchen. I see the scrapyard in my future. Pots, pans. Wine koozies that this isn't wasn't even used. That's flea marketable. For sure. So we have a dish strainer in there. Oh boy. The next thing says kitchen number four. Sewing trays for drawer, coffee, vitamins. Did I buy like a grocery store? <laughs> so let's see what's in this one, shall we? <laughs> well, folks, you got yourself a curate. What's the coffee pot still on it? <laughs> they drank Starbucks Cafe Verona. I'm more of a tea drinker myself. Let's grab this. Let's grab this guy. Oh, we have that classic kitchen strainer that I think everyone has. Everyone has this. We have some coffee filters, still on the package, but it looks like there's maybe some bugs. <laughs> we have bride to be picks for cupcakes. A song of the sea, music to my ears. Oh, no cards. It's not bad. I, I don't know if that's seven dollars worth. <laughs> and we have some doilies. And there's also what's this? A cupcake server. We, we bought a kitchen. I bought myself a kitchen. Bakery? Maybe I bought myself a bakery. That'd be something. That would be something. I do love baked goods. I don't. I don't recall seeing this Chipotle, Chipotle box in the in the pictures. Oh, well, that's not bad actually. Oh, we even have some um, some tan lotion. <laughs> We have some cake pans, some little bitty pans. See we have vacuum sealer rolls. Those probably aren't cheap in the store. But yeah, they're little like cake cake pans, little muffin pans. And yeah, this is all cook cookware. This, this is interesting. Let's see what's in one of these totes, shall we? Like we got a tablecloth, some lights, candy cane. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. We have envelopes, ribbon, three ninety eight ribbon. Maybe I have seventy dollars worth of ribbon in here. We have personal Christmas cards, another Christmas card, lights. There's more lights. Look at this ribbon. That's fancy. 
This is diamond wrap. This is probably like four bucks out of the store. I bought myself $70 worth of ribbon. We even have a little bag. Oh boy. This is the next tote filled with ribbon. This one feels a little bit heavier. We got some Christmas. Just not vintage. We have a snowman collection, it looks like. Is this a llama bear basket? We have all the snowmen you could want or need in life. I mean, these could go to the market. They're, you know, they're, they're not bad. <laughs> we have a tin. What's this? Empty. Stone Circle Studio. Empty. Empty tins. They didn't even see the cookies in here. These are the kind of tins, well, it was the old, like, butter cookies where everyone's grandmother or aunt had, like, their sewing kit in it. There was anything in there but the actual cookies. More empty tins. We have a whole, like, set of those nesting boxes that have a snowman inside. Well, good news for me, it is almost... Christmas season is on the way, so people will be wanting their snowmen. So what I did realize is that there is or was a box marked spices. Food dash spices. That box is gone. I mean, if it had food and spices in it, I don't really care that it's gone, but it kind of begs the question, are, are these units really gone through before us as buyers get here? Because why would the owner, like the unit owner, come in and just grab a box of spices? Unless it had jewelry in it. <laughs> I don't know, but that box is not here. Like that box legitimately is not here. This says kitchen pots pans. What do we do? Have more. What is this? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a rustic um, cake, cake uh, this way. Then some lids. Those can be recycled. We do have a mixer in here. There's like a paring tray. And we have a vase. The rest are just plastic lids. This is probably the nicest thing I've found so far. <laughs> it is very weird that that box is not here. Unless it's that box, but it's not. Like, it, the box is legitimately missing. Okay, so this one says To Me, Bag, To Me, To Me. What's that brand? Oh! Well, it definitely is a Toomey bag, a tech, it's a tech bag. So we've got some more pots. Some drawer organizers. I think we have some plates. We do. Gibson Home. What brand is that? Is that like a Hobby Lobby brand? I mean, they're nice plates. You know, we got some sandwich bags. I can use those. We have a strainer, an apron. We have some other garbage bags. We have some Lumity female dietary supplement. <laughs> All these are wine glasses that are broken. Is it broken? Oh, we have a. A dongle, dongle dangle. Goose Island. I'll probably need a drink after this unit considering I spent $70 on it. Where'd my money go? <laughs> what do we got in here? What do you say? What do you know? More snowmen. Ooh, we have one of those nice boxes in the bottom that uh, have can you see? It's a whole snowman collection. Just what I always wanted. Now, these are vintage snowmen. 
I need money. Here comes Santa Claus. Santa, can you please bring me a good unit? <laughs> Hey, this is the cleanest unit I've ever purchased, ever. Like, there's really, I mean, it's garbage, but it's not like it's garbage laying all over the floor and I have to really sweep up anything, so that's a plus. This is rather light. I think it's an air mattress. Oh, I'm not opening this up. It's definitely like, oh, I hate this. Maybe it's an exercise ball. Air mattress exercise ball. If I unfold it, I might not be able to fold it back in again. <sighs> Last two totes. There's a sewing machine. We have this guy. Oh, this is a sealer, like for the vacuum bags. And we actually have a Singer sewing machine. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is a $70 model, but I should be able to get something for it at the flea market, you would think. Looks like it's a newer-ish, newer-ish one. <sighs> 10 bucks, 15 bucks at the flea market, maybe? Unless it's like some rare model, but wasn't expecting a sewing machine. But where are my spices that they took? This is it, folks. The last one, what's inside? Is it snowman? No, no, no. We have some basket bags, a blank picture frame, notebook, notebook, a kids drawing book, I don't think there's gold, but it's a whole bag of jewelry. Now, it's nothing, you know, crazy fancy, but you know, it's all your newerish jewelry that I still have to go through because if there's one piece of gold in here, that would definitely save the day. That's a surprise. That'll go up front with me and cords. We have this strainer. We have a roomy, roomy cube. Uh, this mantle uh, thing for your things. <laughs> we have a $5 Microsoft Life Cam. I don't even know if that's up to date. I'll have to scan that barcode. Maybe I can sell that online. being one of our best customers. 1998. It's uh, Monet, little prints, some dish towels. Well, was this unit worth $70? Uh, no. No, it wasn't. And I've bought from this facility before, so I don't want to say that they came in here and took stuff, but that spice box unless I missed it on the other one, definitely was not in here. Or maybe they just took it out because they thought we're not gonna sell food. So that's another thing. But um, cleanest unit I've ever purchased. This stuff isn't bad, uh, flea market items. But no postcards, no ephemera, <laughs> no 1980s toys. <laughs> I get to gamble. I do a sellable items, I have some scrap items, some useful items, and then a bag of jewelry to go through. And that is what my $70 has bought me. Would you have bought this unit for $70 if you would have seen pictures of it online? Would you have said, oh yes, I'm fitting? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll finish packing these things up and hopefully the next unit will be the unit. The unit to yet end all units. Less kitchenware. <laughs> more things i really love we'll have to see thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this adventure in the storage auction business you never know what you're going to find when you open up that locker door mm -hmm.